top of the morning. Yeah, so uh, I'm out here about to get ready to go to this uh, expungement course. Nigga about to get his record straight, get some more shit knocked off or whatever, man. God, it's good. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go to work today. I don't know. It's depending on how long this shit take. Um, about to shoot some more content for y'all. Probably shoot like uh, some more freestyles or uh, might go do a little shopping today or something, you know. But I'm gonna take y'all along with me today. It's early as hell right now. Out here in Nashville, Tennessee, it's uh, 8.37. I've been up since 7.30. So about a little bit over an hour. Uh, Waiting on my homegirl to come out here. Say she in the tub or whatever. See what she talking about. Uh, let's go. They said I wasn't looking at it. All right, y'all. So, yeah, I'm in Metro Center. I'm about four minutes away. From this, uh, hold on, let me grab the paper. From this right here. The Music City Community Court Restore. About to go get some legal help and stuff. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I didn't really put out a fire or whatever. I'm pretty sure whoever here is just trying to get some shit done. You know what I'm saying? And, end up seeking to find the knowledge they sell but anyway before I get too fucking deep or whatever get thrown out uh, I'm focused on some me type shit me 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 type time not to be selfish not to be none of that shit just you know catch up to all the time that I waste out here playing and shit man yeah I be on the lookout for that new music be on the lookout for some merch some giveaways uh me going live, try to go live a couple times a week, but not from Instagram, not from Real Young Gutter page, because uh, I've been banned or whatever for like two months, I'm trying to figure that shit out, well, it's been longer than that, I know I keep saying two, so that, that must be like my lucky number or something, but, uh, yeah, y'all, shit, uh, I can't go live on Instagram, so I've been going live on uh, Live Me, so y'all download the app, it's the Live Me app, and look for Real Young Gutter. I'm gonna try to go live on there a couple times a week. Drop some more freestyles for y'all. Do some lifestyle content. Do some outfits of the day, you know. All that cool type shit. So, man. Uh, y'all fuck with me. Yeah, so we about to pull up. I'm gonna go walk in this place and see what it's talking about. Wish me luck, man. Hopefully, I can get some stuff done. Get some stuff took off my record. You know what I'm saying? Get some sponges going on. Go back and get my GLs and my DLs, you feel me? So I can be all the way thorough out here. You know what I'm saying? All the money shit, man. Get this credit right. Make some investments. Make some business moves. Drop this content, this music for y'all, man. Let's go. Maximizing what is happening in the room. So you know we have the clinic going on, yes? But we have more than that. Look on this side of the room. Look over here. 
here. I see Project Return, I see Free Cards, I see Upright. If you're on this side of the room and you got a resource that could benefit this side of the room, raise your hand. You see everything in red. But I want you to take away from this moment is that this don't happen all the time. Normally we're giving you a 1-800 number. We tell you to email somebody. We tell you to follow up with somebody. But today you have the people that I wear in the room for you. So don't walk out this room without the reason. So I am so proud of you for showing up. Because you didn't have to show up. And everybody went through something to get here. Somebody was like, is my ride going to get here on time? You know I got to be there in 2.5 minutes. You, right? Did somebody go through something to get here today? We did. Don't walk out of this room yeah, yeah, no, I did. I've been a part of Judge yeah. Bell's clinic for years. No business. Patricia Malone from the Urban League has been a part of this for years. Yeah, I want you to in. know that you have, you say, I'm going to show you who I am. And I'm asking you to help me where I'm at today. Does that make sense? So if y'all would ask me that we understood the assignment, and we're going to walk out of here redefined, shining, shining bright, and whatever we walked in here with is not going to define us anymore. So give yourself a round of applause. I don't think that's your new self. Give your new self a round of applause. Give your new self a round of applause. Your forgiveness self a round of applause. And thank you all so much. I am here for you. And we're going to walk this journey together for your new life because your mistake is not going to redefine you for the rest of your life. Thank you all so much. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I think it's about 11, almost 12 in the afternoon now. Still up here, everything going good. They got a lot of opportunities and resources for anybody in the city that need help with expungements, housing, food programs, baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's definitely a great event, great turnout, man. So I'm sorry if you missed it. We at uh, the resource center. And I got some old footage for y'all, showing y'all how they turned out, man. I'm about to get my record sponge and get some uh, fees ways off my case. And I'll let y'all know how they go. Fire.
attention. This is a wonderful celebration and we're looking forward to sharing with you today. Pastor Kelly X. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is really great to be here. It is so great to see each and every one of you all um, on this. Come on, technology. This is what happens when you don't know. It's all right. We'll be fine. <laughs> um, it is so good to see y'all and to be here um, on this Juneteenth Saturday. Um, as you all probably know, two years ago, President Joe Biden made Juneteenth a national holiday. But prior to that, for 159 years now, our ancestors, um, our people, and I guess now then ancestors, have been celebrating Juneteenth. Juneteenth is the day that is that marks the end of enslavement in Gaveston, Texas. And um, in June 19, 19, 19, 18, 65, and this is important. It's important for me to say that that is June 19, 18, 60, 1865, because a lot of us, when we were in school and in class, we learned about the Emancipation Proclamation and that that became in effect on January 1st, 1963. What often was, uh, as a, in that, Abraham Lincoln freed his letter. That's, that's what we're taught, if we're taught at all, but that's another story. Um, but that's what we're taught. Um, but what, what is important to know about that is that that declaration was to free folks that he did no longer have control over because of the, the Civil War. So those folks didn't consider themselves under jurisdiction. Folks in the South were doing whatever they wanted to do. However, what happened with the signing of that declaration, it meant that when, um, what also happened is that when when those who were enslaved in southern regions decided to do actually where freedom comes from, get their own freedom and leave, they could then go join the Union Army. And when they joined the Union Army, their power of those black men and women who also were supporting, uh, that's how we got free. We freed ourselves. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say that again, we freed ourselves. But very clear, like I, the, the, that those that were, the, and whatever the situation is, I want to say that we free ourselves. So as we are in this room today, we are freeing ourselves. Everybody here is a part of that freedom. And so Juneteenth celebrates the end of enslavement, but we also know that everybody didn't have voting rights. That is that black folks didn't have voting rights initially, and so we had to fight for that type of freedom. That women didn't have voting rights, we had to fight for that type of freedom. We had to, to fight, we, we continue to fight for, um, and there are more rights for LGBTQ folks, but we still fight for those freedoms. That, that, because there is, no one is free until everybody is free. And that our work is to continue to get ourselves free, exactly. And so you all sit in this place today because you want your records expunged, because when your records are expunged, you have access to more things than when you have this record. And we recognize that we live in a place that has unjust laws and who don't apply the laws in the same way. We know that people of color and poor folks are the ones who are often harmed the most. And so we sit here, we come here today to help get you free because just as I can do things, if you can't do it, then what's the fun in that? I don't want to go out if I can't go out with my people, right? So this is the opportunity for us to celebrate this time. And so what we do at the Village Church, and where I'm the pastor, I realize I'm the pastor. I'm the, I am Reverend Kelly X. <laughs> I'm the pastor of the Village Church. We're an African-centered congregation that's a member of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. We worship in Madison, Tennessee at the 50 Forward. And every Sunday that we gather together, we take a little bit of time to celebrate our ancestors, to, to call on their names, to thank them for living lives that were worth living and teaching us how to live and teaching us to love God. And so what I'm going to do for you all is um, I'm gonna um, invite you all into, uh, with me in, in the pouring of libations. And so what the pouring of libations is, there is water, uh, elder man is holding water right now. Water is the one thing that every living organism on this planet needs to live. 
and it is a symbol of life. And so we will, I will call on the names of an ancestor, he will pour water, and then your response will be Ashe. You say Ashe? Ashe. Ashe is similar to our man. It is Emmett Till. Ashe. Nelson Mandela. Ashe. Dr. Betty Shabazz. Ashe. Coretta Scott King. Ashe. Muhammad Ali. Ashe. John Michelle Bastiat. Ashe. Maya Angelou. Ashe. Trayvon Martin. Ashe. Dick Gregory. Ashe. Sandra Bland. Ashe. Mike Brown. Ashe. Aretha Franklin. Ashe. Tina Turner. Ashe. Tony Morrison. Ashe. Nina Simone. Ashe. Jim Brown. Ashe. Harry Belafonte. Ashe. Eric Garner. Ashe. Jacquees Clemens. Ashe. Daniel Hembry. Ashe. Queen Mother Brunson. Ashe. John Lewis. Ashe. C.T. Vivian. Ashe. Ahmaud Aubrey. Ashe. Brianna Taylor. Ashe. Joyce Floyd. Ashe. Reverend Dr. James Lawson. Ashe. The students, faculty, and staff killed in Sandy Hook Elementary shooting. Ashe. The students, faculty, killed at Parkland shooting. Ashe. Pastors and parishioners killed during Bible study at Mother Emanuel. Ashe. Victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting. Ashe. Victims of the Buffalo uh, supermarket shooting. Ashe. Students and teachers killed at Rob Elementary. Ashe. Students and staff killed at the Covenant School. Ashe. At this time, I invite you to call on the names of your ancestors that we might also acknowledge them. Ashe. 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 Yell them out. So shit. We'll keep y'all man updated. Stay tuned. Hey, bud. Which includes everybody in this room. We are now known as the best operation in the nation. And everybody wants to be like us. And that's because of our collective work. Everybody in this room. But more so, it's because of you because you care enough about it, you trust us enough to come in here and let us do what we are supposed to be doing with you, what you pay us to do. We work for you. We don't work for anybody but you. And we are giving you, hopefully, the best we got. I want to thank my team personally because, uh, man, my team, Rachel, and I'm not going to call all names because I don't, I, I won't remember all your names. I remember Rashad, <laughs> even though I don't see him. But, uh, but Cedric kind of runs the show. Cedric, raise your hand. And our compliance office used to be called Collections. We changed the name to Compliance. Because when you go before a judge and the judge gives you their disposition, that's what they call it, when basically when they tell you what you got to do, then you got to comply. You got to do it. So instead of calling our office collection, where we're just calling you for money, we're compliance because I think a lot of you in this room know we help walk you through it so that you can comply and so that your life can be made whole. So I want to thank my, my office staff for trusting me because I've gotten beat up nationally over the way we operate. But I also want to thank Rachel Bell, your vision, and your people and everybody in this room for believing that the difference can be made 
and the difference is made today. So I want to say to everybody, Ashe! 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 Well, that was one.